Good morning, today we're looking at the unit scope meter and first thing I'll do is run through the accessories that come with the Model B as standard for your workshop bench um, the power adapter is quite useful batteries will last for two to three days which are four AA batteries uh, it comes with a BNC adapter socket but no scope lead which should be mandatory in my opinion uh, it comes with a really nice carry case a couple of leads for doing your power and uh, your current and various other things that the scope lead can't do uh, very good manual English is well written a couple of crop clips a USB optical interface lead which um, is run on the PC or Mac with the software that's provided really makes the unit a lot more powerful um, I just carry four uh, nickel metal hydride batteries as a backup and a few other little bits and pieces so I'll just put those back right to the unit now uh, the signal source is a old leader signal generator which goes up to a few hundred megs but the output is non-linear the higher it goes the less the output is um, now the uh, unit um, meter scope is uh, specifications is for 8 megahertz but look at this it's sitting at uh, 18 megahertz and that's only about uh, 20 millivolts peak to peak Now I've just dropped the meter down, the signal generator down to 3 megahertz and uh, of course it's got a lot more output so um, easily to measure it I just go to the auto button, press that and the meter works itself out and there we are so we've got uh, 3.1 or 3.2 megahertz and the top line is showing, once these figures are highlighted, that um, both operations are in the auto mode. Now, to quickly run through how easy it is to use, the line across the screen here corresponds to the adjacent button below it. So, if I use the move button, that will lift the display up and down. If I move the range button that will increase or decrease the sensitivity so if I go to range down to the button below it and press the button as you see it changes the sensitivity of the meter and by doing so it takes the sensitivity to manual which is non highlighted now if I change the range over to Hertz on this the meter always defaults to meter mode um, and it's telling me the frequency that we're looking at if I press the mode button it will revert to the scope mode which tells us the frequency again on the left and the RMS value on the right don't forget your RMS value is different than the peak to peak if you looked at the graticules here at uh, 200 millivolts we're looking at 500 millivolts peak to peak so it's significantly different than the RMS figure also um, scopes get a little bit mucked up when the sine wave is not sinusoidal like this one is from the um, leader signal generator okay so that's given some of the basics of the operation um, some of the features um, we've got a save and call um, button which gives 10 memory locations if I press that it'll be in the save mode um, so I can I'll just cursor up to position say 6 and I'll save position 6 now if I call position 6 I go over here to enter to call it down on that button there that's the real times display and I've just called it and that's the data there 
I don't know why it's saying not exist because there's the data. Now to go back to the active display, I just press the hold button and it comes back up again. So I'll go back to that. I'll go save and call data. I'll go to call and I'll go to a previous display which is down say position number two and call it by pressing the call button. Hang on, what am I doing here? Call position two. It's making a liar out of me. Three position. Simply because I'm trying to operate a camera and I didn't go to enter there. Right, so that's, I was actually going over to the save and call button. So instead of following the easy instructions, I was getting confused with the camera. So that's a previous um, waveform that's been saved, giving you your frequency and, um, and so on. Okay, so I'll get back to the meter mode. Um, triggering on the unit, it's, um, it's okay, it's pretty cool. And um, I'll just show you what functions we've got. Volts, ohms and diode, frequency, microamps, milliamps, amps, capacity, and it auto-offs. You can set the auto-off time, and even though the display is, uh, could do with a bit more contrast, it's got a backlight, and uh, it's exceedingly good um, in darkness, you, you, what you see here, or what you see on your screen is nowhere near as clear as what I'm seeing here, of course, because it's going through the video mode. Well, I guess I'll summarise by, um, oh, well, let's compare the two. Here's, a, here's the unit with all the information on the screen there, and I go over to my old scope, which basically shows me a signal, nothing else. Also, with, with my old scope, if I put it down for a, a month or two, I've got to fight with all the controls to get used to it again. Uh, time bases as well, um, time base on, on my scope, it's good, but you've got to fiddle around with it. So, um, is for ease of use, I find the unit um, a lot more uh, user friendly than um, the old bog standard scope. So, if you were running um, a laboratory or a production line and you want your uh, workers to pick up a, a tool and use it quickly, the unit is uh, probably the perfect tool for them. Okay, the, I'll give you the negatives of it. Um, the, the no scope probe, uh, that's an issue. Um, and on the storage and call and save and call, I think the functions there could be a little bit easier to use. Um, and that's about all I can think of as far as the negatives go. As far as the positives go, the um, triggering is superb um, on the meter mode. Um, the size of the font or the size of the numerals is uh, exemplary. You'd have to be almost blind not to see it. Um, the size of the display is the biggest in its class of a meter oscilloscope. Value for money, it's it's uh, really good. Battery life's excellent. Uh, ease of use, accuracy. Um, size of the meter physically, uh, it's a bit bigger than a standard meter. Next to it there is a standard meter, but um, not really that inconvenient at all. And I really like the automatic um, button, just, just to get things done really quickly. Accessories and the manual that are provided are, um, are probably more than what you would normally get with any other product, um, apart from the scope probe. And the backlight is really good too. It's got a setup, setup menu. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review of the product. And as you can see, I'm pretty impressed with it. If you want the specifications, you can go to uh, radiospares.co.cc 
and uh, see that and the other products that I've got there. Thanks for watching.